I'm sure you've seen the TV show Friends, right? I mean, who hasn't seen that show? Well, I hope you remember Joey from Friends. Yes, that goofy guy who's like a TV actor and who has this penchant for getting attracted to wonderfully beautiful women. Well, why am I bringing him up? Well, I'm going to tell you a story about Joey and his meeting with a beautiful stranger in a coffee shop. And through that story, you are going to learn some absolutely amazing English words and idioms. Well, hello and welcome to this fantastic lesson. My name is Reema. And like I said, I'm going to tell you a story about uh, Joey. Now, Joey from the TV show Friends, which is actually a character played by Matt LeBlanc. Okay, so well, what happened when Joey met a beautiful stranger in a coffee shop? So the story goes like this. Now, Joey was comfortably sitting in his favorite coffee shop. And suddenly, a brunette entered the coffee shop. Now, the word brunette means a dark-haired girl. So basically, not a girl with blonde hair, but a girl with dark hair. So a brunette entered the coffee shop and caught his eye, meaning caught his attention. Or he noticed the dark haired girl. Now it always happens that if you're sitting still and just kind of doing nothing and suddenly somebody who's absolutely stunning walks in, that person just catches your eye. So that's exactly what happened to Joey. A beautiful brunette caught his eye and he found her so beautiful and so enticing that he decided I have to strike a conversation with this girl. Now what does it mean to strike a conversation? It means that he decided to get up and go talk to her. So striking a conversation means starting a talk or a conversation. So well, knowing Joey and how handsome and talkative he is, he decided that he wanted to impress her. That's right, so he walked up to the brunette in order to talk to her, in order to strike a conversation with her, in order to impress her. Now, what does it mean to impress a girl? It means to get her to like you or to get her to think that you are cool or smart. So well, that was the idea on Joey's mind. He decided to go talk to the brunette and talk to her in such a way that he can impress her and get her to think that, you know, he's really cool or he's really smart. So basically, get the girl to like him. Now, what happened next? When he saw her from up close, meaning from a close distance or face to face, he really thought that she was beautiful and she spoke in a breathy voice. Now, what is a breathy voice? A breathy voice is actually a very seductive or a sexy voice. So there you go, there's Joey and there's this beautiful brunette who's really beautiful up close, meaning from close distance and she has a breathy voice, a beautiful, sexy, seductive voice which has absolutely flawed Joey and to top it all, she has an exotic foreign accent. Now what exactly is an exotic foreign accent? The word exotic actually stands for different or uncommon or interesting.
So when you say that the brunette had an exotic foreign accent, meaning she had a different or an uncommon or an interesting way of talking, which did not belong to Joey's country, which belonged to a foreign country. And I'm sure Joey loved that. So what did Joey do next? He introduced himself. So when you say introduced himself, normally in the course of things, when you say I introduced myself, it stands for I told the other person my name. But in this case, what Joey did is he introduced his name and his profession. So he told her, I'm Joey, the TV star. Now that's a grand introduction for yourself. So what happened next? I hope you know what a TV star is. So basically a TV star is an actor who appears in a popular TV show and is loved by millions of people. So that's who Joey was. He was a TV star. So a popular actor on TV is called a TV star. So there you go. Joey has introduced himself to the brunette. He said, hey, I'm Joey, the TV star, which basically means, hey, love me, I'm a TV star. But has the girl, has the brunette been impressed? Well, Joey worked really hard. Now he paid her compliments, which means he said nice things about her. Now, when you want to pay compliments to a girl, you can either talk about the way she looks, her facial features, her hair, her dressing sense, her smile, her eyes. Well, there is no end to it. And he paid her a lot of compliments. And I forgot to mention, actually, the girl in the story also had dreamy eyes, which means she had very attractive eyes. So along with a breathy voice, she had dreamy eyes, which means very attractive eyes. I'm sure Joey used both these things to pay her a compliment. Maybe he said something like, hey, you have dreamy eyes or hey, that's a breathy voice. I like it. So, well, he's working hard, he's paying her compliments, but why is he doing that? Because he wants to flatter her. So, what does it mean to flatter someone? It means to make the person feel important So there you go, he's saying nice things about her, he's paying her compliments in order to flatter her, meaning make her feel special, make her feel important, so that somehow she starts liking him. Now let me tell you, women are nobody's fools. They understand all of these tactics that men use. And that's exactly what happened in this story. The brunette actually saw through his act, meaning she saw the truth that he was trying to impress her or she saw through his pretense. And she realized that he wants to ask her out. What does that mean? I'm sure you know what that means. It means he wants to take her to dinner or on a date. So what did the brunette do? Well, she was one smart woman. She matched him stare for stare, meaning she competed with him by staring deeply into his eyes. So now imagine that Joey is staring deep into her dreamy eyes. And what is she doing? Is she being a shy person and looking down at the floor? No way. This is one smart lady. She matches him stare for stare, which means she's looking into his eyes in an e equally deep manner and really telling him that, yes, I'm interested too. So, well, 
Joey realizes that he is falling for her, meaning he's getting romantically interested in her. Or he has a crush on her. And the moment Joey realized he's falling for the brunette, he became tongue-tied, meaning he became speechless with nervousness. It always happens if you're really nervous in front of somebody. It so happens that you just can't speak anything further. You become really tongue-tied and speechless. And that's what happened to Joey. Well, moment that happened to Joey, the brunette, the smart lady that she was, she realized that Joey is tongue-tied. So she just got up and said, Hey, Joey, are we going out on a date or what? That's right, so she made the move and she realized Joey is too nervous to ask her out and she just culminated things by asking him out. Well, that was the story of Joey and his meeting with a beautiful stranger, a brunette in a coffee shop. So there you go, sometimes women play it smart. If they are interested in a guy, they don't really wait for him to make the move. They actually go and ask him out. That's exactly what happened in this story wherein Joey met a beautiful stranger in a coffee shop. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed telling it and I hope you've learned a lot of interesting idioms and words in English through this story. If you've enjoyed this lesson, definitely subscribe to our channel. It's time for me, Reema, to sign out. I'm going to see you with yet another lesson very soon. Till then, bye-bye and take care.